The JTDP-8 is a programmable control panel that is designed to control your audio and video devices using RS-232, IR, and relay communication. The P-8 control panel features eight buttons that can be programmed to work individually or together. On the back of the P-8 control panel, you will find three RS-232 ports, one RS-485 port, three IR ports, and two relay ports. On the side panel, there is a mini USB port for connecting to your PC and an IR sensor port for IR code learning functions. By integrating the PA control panel into your existing setup, you can conveniently control your audio and video devices, such as your matrix, switch, and video wall controller from anywhere in the room. Third-party devices such as projectors and TVs can also be controlled if they support RS-232 IR or relay communications. By using the JTD control software, you can either program your commands for each button or upload a pre-configured driver from us. JTEC digital products such as the 2x2 video wall controller have drivers with RS-232 commands available to download on our website. In order to upload the pre-configured driver to your PA control panel, download the latest JTD control software onto your PC. Download the driver files for the product you want to control. Connect the PA control panel to the power source and to your PC with the mini USB cable. Open the JTD control software, click on connections, then select USB. Click on file, then select open, then navigate to the location of your driver. Now you should be able to see all the commands that are set up in the action list window. Click on connection, then select upload, and click OK to clear all data stored in the control panel. Click on connection, then select disconnect. Unplug the USB cable from your computer and power cycle the PA control panel. Now you can control the 2x2 video wall controller with your P8 control panel. After switching to matrix mode, I can click on the buttons to select which input sources go to which output displays. When switching over to video wall mode, I can click on this button to switch between the four input sources and have them displayed on the 2x2 video wall.